Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a get ready with me video. I'm getting ready to go to a basketball game with my friend tonight. She actually got me tickets in January for my birthday. And the night is finally here. So I thought we could get ready together, hang out, and do some makeup. Let's get started with the video. I'm just gonna jump right in, you guys. I've already done my skincare. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and throw on a little bit of foundation. I'm trying to use up this guy right here. This is the Lancome Tint Miracle Foundation. I used this in my last video and when I went to link it for you guys, I saw that it's been discontinued. So I wanna just use it up. I've also had mine for many, many years and I feel like we're getting down to the end. So I'm gonna try and use this as much as I can while my skin is this color because I definitely can't wear this shade in the summer. If you've seen any of my Get Ready With Me videos before, then you'll know I usually have a little drink, a little beverage while I get ready. I'm usually having like a little pre-drink before I go out somewhere, but it's four o'clock in the afternoon right now and I'm gonna have a very long evening. So I just felt like it was maybe a little bit too early to have a drink. So I'm just drinking water today. So that was one pump of foundation, a nice light layer. I think I just want to do like a half pump more just for a little bit more coverage, especially on my cheeks here, kind of around my nose. I feel like there's a lot of redness coming through here. I'm wearing my Toronto tee, repping the Raptors. Like six years ago, probably, one of the first videos that I uploaded to YouTube was a get ready for me for a baseball game. I was going to a Blue Jays game with, I think, Will and his parents. And that was kind of the only video I've ever had on YouTube that's gone like viral. I think it got like 5,000 views and like one or two days or something like that. It was kind of crazy and it was right at the beginning of YouTube and I was like, wow, YouTube is so easy. <laughs> yeah, I just got really lucky with that one for some reason. That was during a time where I loved to watch Get Ready With Me videos by Shan XO where she would literally just do her makeup and then put the video in fast forward and play music like there was no talking and I loved those kind of get ready with me's and so I would film those too and so this video that I'm talking about was one like that and yeah now I have other videos on my channel that have like more views than that video does but they've gained views slowly over time through searches and stuff whereas that video literally just like boom like skyrocketed it was pretty cool I tried to recreate it when I was in Thailand and I did like get ready with me for a football game um, even though I wasn't really actually going to a football game <laughs> and uh, that video didn't do very well. So I think it was just a little bit of luck. I'm going in now with the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. I need to wet my sponge, BRB. I'm going to the game with my friend Kira, who was the maid of honor in my wedding. She got us tickets for my birthday, which was so nice. And she also booked us a reservation for dinner inside the Scotiabank Arena, so inside the arena where the game is being played, at, what did she call it? Scotia Club. So yeah, there's a restaurant inside the Scotiabank Arena called the Scotia Club, and we're going there for dinner. I've never really done anything like that before, so I'm looking forward to like doing something different. I'm excited to check it out. I'm actually gonna be vlogging the whole evening, um, and that'll be coming up in my weekly vlog on Sunday. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and you can see all of the, all of the after parts of this <laughs> Get Ready With Me. So I'm just going to set with some Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder. I'm getting very low, but I have a backup right here. I have had it for weeks, anticipating running out because I cannot be without this product. I'm gonna move over to my eyes now that I've got my base on, so I'm just gonna prime my lids with the Laura Mercier Eye Base. I use mine in the color Linen at the moment. I've been getting a few questions on my videos lately about what shades I'm using in things and I realized I kind of sometimes say the shade and sometimes don't. It's because I feel like I'm just using the same products over and over again so it's boring if I'm just repeating the shade names of everything in like every video but I realized that not everybody watching my videos is watching every video or that people who are watching every video are keeping up with the shades of the products that I use so 
I'm gonna try and make an effort to say the shade names a little bit more often if I can. Okay, so for my eye makeup, I want to keep it kind of neutral, a little bit more natural, and I, for some reason, just had this pop into my head. This is a MAC single shadow in the color All That Glitters. I love this. It's like a taupey, kind of shimmery, soft brown color. Every time I do a declutter, I leave so many of my single shadows in my collection. And I tell myself that I will use them more often, and then I so rarely do. So I figure let's take this opportunity to do that. So I'm going to use this MAC shadow as my lid color. Did you guys hear that MAC is ending their recycling program? It's so iconic. Like I feel like everyone knows that you can bring six full-size empty products into MAC and they'll give you a free lipstick or a free eyeshadow. And they're ending their program at the end of this month, I think March 31st. So if you guys have any MAC empties, make sure you take them in. I know I have some. I wonder how many I have and if maybe it would be worth it for me to try and use stuff up. Like if I use this eyeshadow every day until the end of the month, I could probably get it down pretty low. Although I don't do my eyeshadow every day, so maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, it's so crazy that they're ending their program. They're still gonna recycle the products, but they're not giving away the free gift anymore. Okay, so I want like a soft brown shade. We're going all over the map with my eyeshadow here, apparently. I'm gonna take this color right here. This is the Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette, which is literally iconic if you've been around on YouTube for a little while. Um, this is my favorite highlighter ever, which is why I don't get rid of this palette, but I really like some of the eyeshadows in here too. They're really nice, kind of like soft neutrals. The thing about this palette and about these eyeshadows is that this was really cheap. <laughs> like BH Cosmetics was a really affordable brand. This is a really affordable product. And so the eyeshadows in here are not very pigmented. So oftentimes when I want a shadow that doesn't have a ton of pigment, I will reach for this palette with these cheaper shadows because in a lot of my other palettes, the goal of those palettes, I feel like, is to get like the most pigmented shadows. So I love really rich, almost like creamy eyeshadows. So for example, the Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows or the Natasha Denona shadows are really like rich and creamy and pigmented. And so it's hard to get a kind of a softer look without doing a ton of blending. So these more affordable shadows that aren't super pigmented work really well in this type of situation where I just want it to be, I just want it to be soft. I'm not trying to have like full glam for this sporting game but i am going out and it's it's fun and i just want to look nice too you know so something kind of in between i do want to just deepen up the outer corner a little bit so because i have this palette out i'm just going to stick with it and take this darker brown shade right here and add that to the outer corner and then we blend there we go. So I just want to add a little bit of something to the lower lash line as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on a little bit of that mid-tone brown shade just along the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to line with my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. This is in the color In Big Truffle. Ah, okay, this side went really well, but this side is a little like lumpy and bumpy and I'm undecided about if I should try to fix it or just leave it as it is. I might just leave it because I could make it so much worse. It's not terrible. All right, I'm going to throw on a few coats of mascara as well. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara. Okay, so my eyes are pretty much done. I'm going to move back to the face and let's get a little bronzer happening. Let's get a little shaping going on. I think I want to use this Nudegasm face palette. I haven't been using this a lot lately. I've mostly been using the airbrush bronzer. Both of these are from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, but I use this for a little bit of contouring in a video that I filmed yesterday and I forgot how much I like it. So I'm going to take um, mostly this color right here because I'm so pale right now that I just think this is going to be 
too dark often I'll mix the two together but yeah we're gonna stick with this guy I used to be like a really big Raptors fan Will and I for years would watch every single game we would watch all the behind the scenes stuff I knew all the players like I was really really into it for many years when I first moved here all the way up until the point where the Raptors actually won the NBA Finals. That was crazy and like so exciting and happy for those of us who had been following the team for years and years before that when they were literally terrible, like not even making it to the playoffs. And it was so fun to be in the city when that was going on. All of the parties, like all of the watch parties and all of the parties that were happening in the streets after the big wins and stuff it was just a really good time tons and tons of fun but then after that season the team kind of blew up a little bit um and a lot of the players who had been on the team for like the years that i had been watching were suddenly being traded to other teams and for some reason that just really made me lose interest like i was just really invested in the players that we had had for so long that when the new players came in I just yeah I wasn't that interested so I haven't really been watching the last few seasons but it's still always fun to go to a game and we're so lucky in Toronto we have so much of that that happens here it's kind of impossible to get tickets to a Maple Leafs game like the hockey team <laughs> even though that team sucks and they have for like 30 years or something um it's still really really hard to get tickets to those games slash like very expensive i'm just using the highlight from this palette as well since it's sitting right here and we have the blue jays in the summer which is really fun those games can be really affordable actually if you sit like up high and it's really fun you can get like quite drunk and like have a good time <laughs> just sitting in the sun of course, they're fun family activities as well. All right, I'm feeling a little bit desperate to get my brows on. So I'm going to do my brows actually the same way that I did them in the video that I filmed yesterday, which was my trying to get that makeup. If you guys saw that video, I have been planning to film that video for quite some time, but I really struggled with how I was going to title the video and what I was going to use for the thumbnail because I felt like it was such a good video concept but I didn't know how to get it across in the title and the thumbnail so I really just like put off filming the video and then finally I was like you know what I'm just gonna film it and just like put it up so if you guys haven't seen that because the thumbnail wasn't that exciting <laughs> go and watch it because it's a really fun video idea and it was a fun video to make something different I did my makeup in a completely different way than I have ever done my makeup before like literally every step of the routine was something different so go and see that if you haven't yet i'll link it across the top and then in the description box as well but yes in that video i went in with the abh brow freeze and then i used my little glossier brow flick which i never ever 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 really use anymore because it just takes a little bit of extra time compared to using a pencil or just like a tinted gel but I quite liked the way that my brows looked yesterday, so it has encouraged me to bust it out again. Okay, brows are on. The Glossier products are so nice. Like, I love the texture of them and the way that they work, but the shades are just never right for me. Like, the brown brow gel is just too dark and too cool tone for me. Same as this. This is also in the color brown. But their next shade up is blonde, and it's so light and, like, just like wouldn't work for me either so I'm stuck with this one and yeah the shade's never quite right but anyways let's keep going um for my lips I really just want to do a little bit of lip liner and then I'm going to just wear something easy so this is iconic nude from Charlotte Tilbury and then in my bag I have this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip that I bought a little while ago. This I never really use on my channel, but I use it all the time in like my day-to-day -day life. It just lives in my purse. I actually don't really like it that much. Um, I feel like it's kind of drying on the lips and I hate the smell of it. 
but I really like the way it looks for natural makeup. So um, I put it on at the gym, like before I go to work out. If I just want to put a little bit of moisture on my lips, I'll pop it on at the gym and it just, like it looks really good if I have no makeup on. So if I'm like out doing groceries or something like that and I just want like a little something something on my lips, this is perfect for that. But yeah, I definitely will not be repurchasing it, although I do think I am gonna end up using the whole thing up. And then last but not least, we need a little bit of blush. And I think I'm gonna use my Catherine Isabella, which I'm still trying to work my way through. I think I'm gonna make a project pan video. I love project pan videos because I am the type of person who loves using up her makeup like if I make it all the way through a product I get so much satisfaction out of that and I love that feeling I pretty much am like doing a project pan in my head if you guys don't know what that is project pan is kind of like this YouTube trend that you can do where you pick I think it's like 10 products that you want to use up completely oftentimes people will pick things that they've already hit pan on and they want to get through them so they'll go on like a no buy and not buy any new makeup until they use up the products that they already have I'm kind of on a makeup no buy at the moment right now I just like don't have the extra money to spend on buying a bunch of extra makeup when I have so much makeup in the first place I just think it would be kind of a fun thing to do. So I think I am probably gonna make one of those videos coming up here soon. There we go. And then of course the final step to any of my makeup looks is some um, setting spray. And that is it, you guys. That is the finished look. Thank you so much for hanging out and getting ready with me today. If you're new to my channel and you like these types of videos, please make sure you subscribe. We upload Get Ready With Me's all the time around here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>